Minecraft has many different villager professions. There's lots of trades and mechanics to learn, which can be a little overwhelming. But don't worry, as in this video, I'll teach you every single thing you need to know about villagers in Minecraft. Each villager profession has a corresponding working station. We'll go over all of them later in the video. Villagers without profession will look for working stations to get a profession. Clicking a villager with a profession will open the trading interface. You can see all the available trades in the left. You can click on the trade on the left or place items in the slots to trade with the villager. After trading, you will see the experience bar of the villager go up. When it reaches the max, close the interface and the villager will level up, which will unlock more trades. When villagers level up, they will get a short regeneration effect that will heal them. If you keep trading with the villagers, you will win good reputation, which will make the villagers give you discounts. However, this also goes the other way. If you hit a villager, you will get bad reputation reputation, which will increase the prices of the trades. Villagers will talk to each other about you, which will update your reputation in the villager. If you get a bad enough reputation, even iron golems will attack you. So now you know, if you accidentally hit a villager, make sure it can't tell any other villager. Trades have a limited number of uses. When the villager is out of stock, you will see a cross appear on the trade. You will have to wait for the villager to go back to its working station to restock, which happens at least once a day. Villagers Villagers also have an internal inventory, and they can pick items like wheat. You can use this to make villagers follow a trail of items. They can also collect crops and place seeds to get those items, and they will give items to other villagers, which is useful to make automatic crop farms. When it comes to moving villagers, you can use boats and minecarts, but the best thing you can do is use a bell, as it will allow you to quickly move a lot of villagers at the same time. There's other ways of getting discounts, too. When you beat a raid, you will get the hero of the village effect, which will get you better trades and make villagers give you some free gifts. You can also heal zombie villagers with a golden apple and a weakness potion to get better trades. You can let villagers get zombified on purpose and heal them afterwards with this purpose. However, this doesn't stack, so there's no point in zombifying the same villager multiple times. By using these methods, you can end up getting very overpowered trades. We'll now go over every single villager profession. The fisherman's working station is the barrel, which can be crafted with two slabs and six planks. The fisherman villager has some decent trades, most of them items related with fish. You can sell them fish and buy enchanted fishing rods. The fisherman's best trade is selling a boat for an emerald, as it's a very easy source of emeralds. You can craft a blast furnace with a furnace, some iron, and smooth stone. This is the working station of the armorer. You can sell iron and coal for emeralds, and buy some armor pieces. It also trades chainmail armor, which is the most reliable way of obtaining it. The most over powered trade is obviously the enchanted diamond armor, and if you don't like the enchantments, you can use a grindstone to disenchant it, and then enchant the armor yourself. With wooden planks and iron, you can craft the smithing table, which is used by the toolsmith. It has very similar trades to the armorer, but it sells enchanted tools instead of armor. It can also sometimes give you bells. You can get enchanted diamond tools from this villager, which is very nice. The grindstone is crafted with a stone slab, some sticks, and planks. This is the station of the weapon smith, also similar to the toolsmith, but it sells weapons instead. Trades like iron and coal for emeralds are decent. You can also get enchanted diamond axes and obviously an enchanted diamond sword. The enchantments are sometimes terrible, so it hasn't much value. For the shepherd, we need to craft a loom like this. This villager sells wool-related items. You can buy shears and sell items like wool and dyes, which can be decent. You can also buy carpets, dyed beds, and some banners. The final trade isn't good at all as paintings are very easy to craft anyway. With stone and iron, you can get the stone cutter, which unlocks the mason profession. It will buy clay and sell bricks. Also, it has an extremely overpowered trade, as it will change stone for emeralds. With some discounts like raids and zombification, you can lower the cost a lot, up to the point of changing one stone for one emerald, which is the best trade in the game. You can also buy terracotta blocks and quartz blocks, which are decent trades if you want to use them as building blocks. The brewing stand is the workstation of the cleric villager. You can sell it rotten flesh and buy items like redstone and lapis lazuli. It also changes emeralds for gold, which is a great trade if you have a gold farm. You can also buy glowstone and sell some weird items like bottles or netherwort. It also is the only way of getting bottles of enchanting, which are a great late game item, as they allow you to quickly and easily repair your items if you have mending. The smoker can be crafted with logs and a furnace. 
The butcher sells and buys items related with meat. It is great for getting easy food and getting some emeralds if you have a farm. They also buy dried kelp blocks, which is all right, but not very good. You can also sell them sweet berries, which with some discounts and a good farm is a pretty decent trade. With planks and flint, you can get the fletching table. The fletcher is great for buying arrows and bows. You can also turn gravel into flint and sell string. You can also buy crossbows, sell feathers, and buy enchanted bows. You can also sell sticks for emeralds, which is an extremely overpowered trade. But the best trade is definitely turning arrows into tipped arrows, as it is a more convenient way than having to craft them yourself. You might have to level up many fletchers to get the effect you want though. With slabs and a bookshelf, you can get the lectern, the station of the best villager, the librarian. This villager is great, as it allows you to buy enchanted books, which is the most reliable way of getting mending. You can break and place the lectern many times to reset the trades until you get the enchantment you want. If you keep trading, you will unlock other enchanted books and trades like books for emeralds. Librarians might also sell you bookshelves, which with enough discounts might end up becoming infinite emeralds. Imagine buying a bookshelf for an emerald and then selling all three of those books for an emerald each. The final trade is also good, as it's the best way of getting name tags, which are very useful for building many farms. The farmer uses the composter made out of wooden slabs. This villager will buy crops for emeralds and sell you some food. It is great for getting items like apples and getting some easy emeralds early game by selling it its own crops. You can also sell pumpkins and melons for emeralds, which with some discounts become great trades. You can also buy suspicious stew. The same villager will always sell the same stew, but you can't know its effect until you eat it. Its best trades are golden carrots and glistering melons, and you can even get a cake. For a leather worker villager, you need a cauldron. You can sell it leather and buy some randomly dyed leather armor. Its color is completely randomized. You can also sell rabbit hide and buy leather horse armor. These trades aren't great, but at least it will sell saddles, which is a very reliable way of getting them. With paper and planks, you can craft a cartography table, which unlocks the cartographer. It has map-related items, which allows you to sell paper by maps. You can also sell compasses and buy ocean, woodland, and trial explorer maps, which will lead you to those structures. However, this trade is only useful the first time you buy it, as the same villager will always sell the same exact maps. If you want to find another of that structure, you need to level up a different villager. You can also get the globe banner pattern, which is an exclusive trade for your banners. The wandering trader is kind of the last villager profession. It is a completely separate mob, but will also trade you items. They generate randomly with some llamas near the player and villagers. They will sell you random items for emeralds, stuff like ice, saplings, dyes, and coral blocks. They aren't very useful, but at least you can get some slime balls and free leashes when they spawn. And this is everything you need to know about villagers in Minecraft. If you enjoyed this video, I'm sure you will also enjoy this one, where I teach you everything about enchantments in Minecraft and how to get perfect enchantments on every single item in the game.